Hello everyone, you know why you're here, you clicked on the video, you read the title, I'm going to bring you everything that we know that is coming to Dead by Daylight with the new PTB, along with what the Prestige 3 Killer and Prestige 3 Survivor will look like, and anything else that we found in the files. Alright, kicking off the video, we got a new Killer and a new Survivor that was added to the game for the PTB. Now, as of what abilities they have, I'll do a separate video on that because I don't want to make this video overly long. You guys know I like to keep these ones short as much as I can, which that is probably a good start, so let's go ahead and look at the cosmetic items that the new survivor and new killer will have now what i'm going to show you isn't every single cosmetic because a lot of them are just different torsos or different pants so i'm just going to show you the full body one there will be a link in the description for every file that i found so every cosmetic every uh power up everything that I didn't cover here. So we can actually see right here, here are three of the builds that I found that were full body. He has like this whole Chris Angel, the crow thing that I like, and that's probably the one I'm going to wear. Not much to see. They're just cool outfits. And like I said, any outfit that I don't cover in this video or anything that I found in the files, I will have linked in the description so you can go and view all of it that I didn't put in for whatever reason. Now moving on to the killer, I actually found a lot of files like that for the killer, so there's quite a bit to look at. Now these, I'm going to assume, will be the legacy skins for the killer. Now the killer is a bit harder to pin down, as there are multiple people, there are different males and female versions of the killer. A lot of the skins look like they're just recoloring, which is fine, because some people will probably prefer them to look a different way, so you got whatever you want. And some of them look a bit more fancier, like this one on the left, which I really enjoy, and I think would be the skin I would get for the killer. And we have have just a few more left and then I'll go ahead and show you what the prestige 3 of both the killer and the survivor would look like so here's what prestige 3 will look like for the new survivor just the usual blood everywhere although on his face he's kind of got like this war stripe which I actually enjoy it's a little different than having blood everywhere just splattered it makes it look like he likes to smear his enemy's blood all over his face and the one that most of you have probably come here to see is the prestige 3 killer now the new killer is different as it's not just one person so there's actually a few different and prestiges that I found in the game right now you can see the three masks I also found two blades which I'll put up for you now as you can see the mask and the blades aren't exactly copycats they do look a bit different than each other and then we have the torsos of the killers which one is obviously male and the other one is for the female killers if you wanted to take a look at the icons for the add-ons I'm not going to show them all but here is a couple examples they will all be in the link in the description. Like I've said before, everything that I do and don't cover here will be there for you. Lastly, we can see that the DLC will be called Darkness Among Us, or at least the chapter name will be. Now let's get into the other reason I know a lot of you clicked on this video, the winter event. Now I didn't find much in the game files under the new stuff, so I didn't find a name or anything, which leads me to believe that this will be the same winter event that we've had last year. But considering last year was just an update and not an actual event, I believe that they will end up updating the files so I just haven't found it yet because they have been doing actual events not just updates so I think that there will be something and if I do find anything I'll make a little update video for all of you but that's not the end because we did actually get some cosmetic for the winter event which do actually look pretty good now me personally I wanted a trapper Santa but I guess we'll go ahead and settle for this clown Santa which he actually does look pretty awesome. He does look the part. Getting a closer look at the face, we can see that his nose is actually a broken bulb and his beard doesn't quite fit on his face, implying that he's not the real Santa. We can see that his waist is too big, so his belt's not actually on there, and he does have a new weapon, which looks pretty nice, although covered in blood. As you can see in this promotional art, some survivors will be getting Christmas sweaters, and for each survivor that does get one, it will be personalized to them. Such as Adam, he's a teacher, so his is a math problem. And Ace, who, you know, his name is Ace, so he's got cards going on there. We'll go ahead and take a look at him close up now. Now again, to keep this video out of reasonable length, I'm not going over all of them in the video. They will be linked in the description for you guys who want to check out all of them along with the rest of the cosmetics. Now these three belong to David, Adam, and Ace, and these are just the ones I'm using as an example. There are other characters that are getting sweaters as well. But what about my killer, I hear you mains cry? Well, there isn't a lot for the killers so far other than the clown. It's just a rehash of what we got last year with the blue eyes just for the new ones. So here is what the clown and the spirit are going to look like, but the main star of the show is this one here. The new killer also has a winter mask, which means that the DLC will be dropping before the winter event. And the last thing is, we can actually see that there are two new cosmetic events that will be coming into the game. The first one we didn't get a name for, but it will drop a couple of new cosmetics. They seem pretty nice, nothing too fancy. 
There's probably more to it than this, but I'm not sure what goes to which files, so I'm just going to have them all linked again down in the description. Now the second one is a bit more zany. It looks like it's going to bring us a lot of weird and cool and especially unique stuff. Unique in the sense that it's different from the other stuff in the Dead by Daylight universe. So as you can see, even the hillbilly will be getting something out of this one. And there's stuff that does fit in and then stuff that is way different. And this new clothing line looks to be called Wicked Wares. So that's all I have for you guys. Again, down in the description will be everything that I found that was and was not in this video. But you guys know the routine. If you liked the video, leave a like, share, and if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel and come on back for more.